Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division encounter. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, D.C., and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Weidman is two years the elder. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, six losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Baldwin, New York, Chris Weidman! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Paul Bergeron! Craig! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this game. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. He'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see. Well, he told us on Thursday you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Oh, 
Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, due to a go-go Plata. So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find